you're buying a home and the seller or the builder is giving you closing cost money and you're like, how should we spend it? What's the best way to do it? Should we reduce the price? Should we pay our closing costs? Should we reduce the interest rate? What about a three, two, one buy down? What about a two, one buy down? What about a permanent buy down? All of those things you're like, how should we spend our seller concessions or incentive money when it comes to closing on a home? I got you. Let's talk about it today. Let's go into detail. And I wanna give you probably the best way to use your builder incentive money when buying a new home. So here we go. Okay, let's talk builder incentive money because I love selling new construction homes and part of the reason why I love them is because the builders like to incentivize the heck out of them to give you money to help make it make sense to buy a home because everything around us is literally crazy right now. If we haven't met before, my name is Zach. I sell real estate here in the DFW market. I specialize in helping people buy new construction homes, whether that's building new construction or buying off a builder's inventory. Those are things that I love to do. So if you're looking in that space, you've found the right place. I would love to help you and your family find that next home, whether you are relocating to DFW or you already live in DFW. My contact information is gonna be right at the bottom of this video. If I can help and represent you in that transaction, save you as much money as possible, get you the best deal possible. I want to do that. So you are looking at a builder's home and you're like, hey, we're, we think we want to buy new construction. It's like awesome. And then we start talking to the builder and it's like, hey, we love this house. What can we do? And then they start talking about incentive money. And you're like, oh, incentive money. I lack money. It's like free money, right? And so then the question always comes up, hey, Zach, how should I spend my incentive money? What's the best way for us to use that? And my response is always, it depends because it is 100% situational dependent on how you spend that money. It's also builder dependent because here's the here's the thing. Some builders will say, and it depends on the promotion and it depends on the season and it depends on the community. Sometimes builders will say, oh, this is our promotion that we're doing right now. So, you know, for some communities I'm looking at and it's like, hey, our promotion is we're doing a straight buy down uh, for anybody that qualifies to a rate of 5.99%. That's how we're doing it. That's the incentive money. And that's the end of the day. Some builders are like, hey, this is a, we're doing a two one buy down or a three, two, one buy down. If you don't know what that is, uh, I'll get into that in a second. And they're like, that's our incentive money. Other builders are saying, hey, we're giving a percentage number. And it's like, hey, maybe it's 10,000 or it's 12,000 or it's 3% of purchase price or it's 15,000. And you can use it however you want to use it. So it's like, you can use it for closing costs. You can use it for price reductions. You can use it for interest rate buy downs. However you want to use it um, is yours to use. So what I want to do is I actually want to show you my screen, uh, bring up the calculator and kind of walk you through what different scenarios uh, look like in how we use that money. Okay. On this one, uh, let's let's do some, some basic math. Let's just do some assumptions, okay? So it's a conventional loan price. Uh, we're gonna call it a 450 purchase price, which here in DFW is very doable. You've gotta be you know, kind of on the outer ring a little bit, very doable, 450 purchase price. Let's call it 5% down, which is the minimum you're gonna need if you go FHA. Minimum down payment is 5%. Let's start at, let's just go 72 Five. We're gonna so we're gonna start there. A thirty-year loan, uh, hazard insurance that's gonna price out at about you know, 0.68. That's probably accurate. Taxes. If you're new to DFW or you're new to Texas, uh, we do have relatively high property taxes. In a new construction space, you're probably gonna have a mud or you're gonna have a PID. Be mindful of those, it's a tax. And most of those communities, tax rate's gonna be somewhere between 1.9 and 3.2%. So we're gonna split the middle and we're gonna call it 2.4. So we'll hit our compute. Okay, so on the right-hand side, again, these are just estimates. I am not a loan officer. I, you know, I have great loan officers. I'm just giving kind of an estimate based on numbers that we plugged in. These are, you know, we're ballparking. These are gonna get close, but they're not gonna get us 100% all the way there. So what you wanna see is you're looking at two sets of numbers. We're looking at monthly payment and we're looking at bring to close. So simple math, 5% of 450. Uh, we're looking at 22.5 down, assuming you do the 5%. Uh, prepaids and fixed, these are your closing costs. So bring 22 and then we're looking at like 15 
in closing costs. So what this is saying, hey, this is assuming basic, you know, s simple, straightforward transaction. And then on the left-hand side, we've got our principal and interest payment, uh, our taxes, our insurance, and our PMI. Uh, PMI is because we do not have a 20% down payment. So you're gonna pay that insurance on that. So principal and interest, taxes, insurance, this is your homeowner's insurance. Again, this number is probably gonna fluctuate depending on who you shop it with. Just trying to get us in the ballpark. Main number I wanna focus on right now is the PNI here. So this number is 29.1630. That is for, you know, loan at 7.25%, which is very close to what the market rate is, right? So you're like 4,300 is, the rough math of what that's going to cost us uh, every month. Now, what happens if we go in and we say, hey, we want to buy discount points. So this is this is the part that gets really confusing for a lot of people because they're like, I don't understand how much I'm buying down and what it's actually doing. This is a great way to look at it. So I want you to, I want to highlight this right here. Here's what it says. It says, enter the number of discount points. Each point entered will lower the rate by 0.25%. So one point equals a quarter of a percent. So four quarters equals one whole percent. One point is a quarter of a percent. For example, if two points are entered, the interest rate will be lowered by 0.5 and it would cost 2,000 on a $100,000 loan. Let's break it down. A one point is a quarter of a percent. Four points get you a whole percent. One point usually cost 1% of the loan. Okay, 1% of the loan gets you one point, which is a quarter of a percent. So let's just say we get four discount points paid by uh, our new construction uh, home. So four discount points is a cost of $17,000, which is very much what we're seeing uh, in some of these build cases. So $17,000 gets us down to a 6.25% interest rate. Let's see what this does to our loan. So. Moving down a whole percentage point, we dropped almost $200 in our monthly payments. It's a good way to spend that money, right? So we could say, hey, we wanna spend our money and we wanna get as many discount points as we want. Now, granted, here's the caveat. The lender is gonna have a limit on how far down you can buy the loan. And that's gonna be solely dependent on credit score, debt, income, program. There's so much that goes into that. But so I'm just trying to give you a baseline of what you can expect on how that money should potentially get spent. So we can see by buying down from seven to six, we got to a $2,600 principal and interest. We still have the same amount of cash to close. Now we could go back, let's go back and eliminate our discount points, eliminate those. Okay, so we've eliminated our discount points. Here's what also we could do. You could say, hey, I don't wanna take any discounts. Uh, I want, you know, we're gonna do the full thing and I'm okay with the higher monthly payment and we're gonna pay all of our closing costs, right? So we're like, hey, we got 15, let's take it and let's put it toward our closing costs. Closing costs are things like mortgage application, There's there's a fee that goes with that. There's document fees, there's title fees, there's insurance, there's taxes. There's all those different things that are kind of rolled into your closing costs that that could be an option. The other thing you'll hear a lot of builders and lenders talk about is like a 2-1 buy down or a 3-2-1 buy down. So let's go back. Let me reset the calculator. I want to show you the 3-2-1 buy down, how that works, how it plays out, and if it might make sense for you. Okay, want to take the same scenario we were looking at earlier. So 450 purchase price, 5% down, starting at a, starting at a 7% interest rate, and seeing what that does in terms of a 321 buy down. So as you can see, that makes the seller contribution 19,000. Again, very doable, very within the realm of possibility with some of these builders. Because like I said, some of them are advertising. They're already doing the 321 buy down. They're doing a 21 buy down. Now let's talk about what that means. So basically, what that means is the seller, the builder is telling you and the, the lender, hey, we're gonna set money aside uh, in an account that's buying down their rate. So as you can kind of see, if you look at the chart over here, this buys the interest rate down from 4.25 or 4.125 or from 7.125, goodness, words are hard, uh, to 4.125 for the first year. So payments zero through 12 are gonna be at 4.125. Payments 13 to 24 are at five, payments 24 to 36 are at 6.125. And then at that point beyond that, uh, you're at a 7.125. So who does this make sense for? This makes sense for somebody who says, hey, we wanna take the lower payment today because we think in the next three years we can refinance and get a better rate. Now, nobody knows what's gonna happen in the, the rate market, right? But 
Here's what I'll tell you. If you're buying in a new construction community, there is a good chance, there is a very good chance by the time you are ready to refinance, you are gonna have a higher equitable position, which means the gap between what you owe and what your home is worth is gonna be wider than if you were buying on the resale market. Especially if you're buying in some of these first phases of new communities, you are gonna have a serious gap there. So you're going to be able to potentially tap that equity. So the, the thought is, hey, we're thinking we're going to you know refinance in three years and you just have to know mentally. So important thing to note, you have to be able to qualify at the more expensive rate. Like you have to, the lender has to qualify you at the 7% rate and know that you can afford it before they will even talk about buying you down. The thought is you, you do that and you buy it down, you refinance two years down the road. But you can kind of see the difference that this makes, right? So this was that same number, that 4267, this is that all in principal interest taxes insurance. Look at what it does for year one. So it 3458, year one, and then it's gonna bump up because we go up a, a percentage point, 3714, and then it's gonna go up again, 3984, and then it's gonna go up again, 4267. It's also probably gonna fluctuate, again, these are estimate numbers, gonna fluctuate a little bit more than this because of how the taxes are gonna fluctuate uh, and the property taxes are gonna change. So this play is a great play for somebody who's like, oh, we just we just need to get into a house. We think we're gonna be making more money in the, the coming years. We know we're gonna have equity and we think we wanna refinance. This is the play of like, if the seller offers you this or the builder offers you this, this is the play we take, right? So this is a three, two, one buy down. The same is true if you decide to say, hey, I want instead of a three, two, one buy down, I want a two, one buy down, same numbers. Let's change it back. So this is 5%. Same thing, so it buys you down two percentage points for the first year, one percentage point for the second year, and then back to the original market rate, year three. So again, you can see the same. So you could mix this and say, hey, I wanna do a two one buy down and closing costs, depending on how they allow you to allocate that money. Um, we always want this to be paid by the seller because it's coming from a new construction home that has um, incentive money attached to it, which means you're getting it from the builder, you're not paying it. Okay, see, I told you, scenario dependent. If you're a person that you're like, hey, we think we're only gonna be in this home for two years, like we're buying it and then we we know we're gonna move, like we just like to move, then the, the three, two, one buy down doesn't make sense for you. The long-term buy down does, right? Uh, hey, if you're like, hey, we're fine with this interest rate, we're, you know, we get, um, maybe you're getting a VA loan and you're getting an even better rate and you're like, we can't buy it on even more then pay the closing costs, right? There, like there's so many different ways. Um, so I wish I could tell you there's just one straightforward answer, but there's not. And truthfully, I'm glad that there's not. And so the best way to do this honestly is we get it, once we get under contract with a builder, you're gonna sit and talk with their lender and they're gonna line out all the details, right? They're gonna look at your credit score, you're gonna look at your income, they're gonna look at your debts, they're gonna look at the loan. They're gonna say, hey, here's how much money you have you know, from the builder, it's like, hey, it's 10, it's 12, it's 15, it's 3%. Uh, here's how much, you know, your realtor might be kicking in. Wink, wink, I might, might, just we'll, we'll play by ear if you need it to make it happen. I'm always open to a conversation, not guaranteeing anything. Just saying I've done it in the past. On the, like, not when people expect it, but when people need it, there's a difference. But we can have a conversation about that. So how do you spend your builder's money? Don't reduce the price. Because let me, let me go back, let's go back one more time to our um, chart because this I think this is super important to see as to what price reductions actually do to your monthly payment. Okay, so I'm back on our chart. So 5% down, 450, same number we've been working with. So let's, let's hit the compute button again. Let's get it. So same thing we've been. So builder says, hey, you've got $15,000. So we'll take $15,000. So what I want you to watch is again, this number right here. So 2916. So $15,000 off of 450. What is that? 435, right? I can do math. Not 4 million. Okay. So we're at 291630. We reduced the price by $15,000. What did we get? 291630. We went to 2819. Basically a hundred dollars is what we got, right? It, so that's why it doesn't make sense to reduce that price because that big price, it really doesn't matter. What makes sense is reducing the interest rate, reducing your closing costs. So again, same thing. We'll go back to our 450 and we'll say 450, one, two, three, and same, same thing. And let's see, let's just get, let's go. Cause I know some builders are doing it. I've got a builder right now that I can connect 5.49. 
same house. So we were at 2931, which is 2819. Go down to a 5.49, 24424. You see how big of a difference that makes what the end doing on the interest rate side versus the price reduction spend your money in the way that makes the most sense use the builder's money to get the best deal possible and if i can help you do that here in dfw whether it's rockwall salina forney fort worth i don't care contact information right down below reach out i'm here to help i would love to represent you and your family as you buy homes here in dfw if you have questions email text call if you want to browse homes, you're welcome to do that down in the description. Uh, if you found value in this video, thumbs up goes a long way. If you have questions, leave them down in the comments. If you want to continue to learn about new construction here in DFW, subscribe to the channel. We have three videos every week. I hope this was helpful. We'll see you in our next video. Bye for now.